Now we're slowly starting to see Hitler chip away at the Treaty of Versailles. He's not allowed to have a military. He develops one anyways for defensive purposes and then takes that military into Spain to help the fascist win the Spanish Civil War. He's not allowed to move troops to borders. He's gonna move troops to borders. He's not allowed to expand territory. He's gonna annex Austria. His next step is he wants the Sudetenland. Because remember, post-World War I, we got new maps. We got new countries. And one of those new countries is Czechoslovakia. So Hitler is gonna say, hey, the three million people that lived there prior to the end of World War I were German. So we think they should be part of Germany. So Hitler is gonna demand that the three million Germans in the Sudetenland, which is Western Czechoslovakia, only half of it, be given autonomy to choose their own allegiances. Autonomy would mean freedom of choice. Later, Hitler is gonna say, you know what? Let's get rid of the autonomy and let's just say that that region needs to be annexed by Germany because those were former Germans. This is gonna to lead to the Munich Conference, which takes place in September of 1938. And one of the parts of this unit is I'm gonna give you a, a series of events and you gotta put them in order. I'm not gonna give you the dates on the exam. You gotta put these things in order based on our notes here. So Western democracies who wrote the Treaty of Versailles, they're gonna get involved and they're gonna say, Hitler, we need to meet in Munich. And in Munich, we gotta discuss the future plans of Europe, and we got to tamper down on your aggression. So at the Munich conference, Britain and France are going to go in there and they're going to meet with Hitler. And Hitler's going to say, you know what? Just give me the Sudetenland and that's it. And then I'm done. No more expansion, no more breaking the rules of the Treaty of Versailles, no more of these things that are worrying Western democracies. Because keep in mind, Western democracies, our true enemy is the communists in the Soviet Union. That's what Hitler kept telling everybody, that their number one enemy was the communists, and keep in mind that the Western democracies also hated communism, so they had no problem with Hitler taking out the communists. This leads to this policy of appeasement. Now, appeasement we talked about last class, and the face of appeasement becomes Neville Chamberlain, the prime minister of Great Britain during this time period. Hitler is gonna give Neville Chamberlain his word that Germany had no further plans for expansion. Obviously, history proves that to be a foolish agreement on the part of Neville Chamberlain. And what we have here is a political cartoon published in a British newspaper in which Neville Chamberlain and the Western democracies are serving up on a plate a piece of raw meat labeled Czechoslovakia to the big bad Nazi wolf. So Hitler is now chipping away, chipping away, chipping away at the Treaty of Versailles. And this is gonna lead to the eventual outbreak of World War II when the Germans invade Poland in 1939. As you saw last class, Neville Chamberlain meets with Adolf Hitler in Munich. Adolf Hitler gives Neville Chamberlain his word. Neville Chamberlain goes so far as to bring the actual document that Hitler signed and says, on this piece of paper is Hitler's signature. And what we have achieved is peace for our time. Now, obviously, in hindsight, this is gonna look incredibly foolish. So the British Prime Minister, Neville Chamberlain, told his nation, we had achieved peace for our time. Now, we talked about the reasons for appeasement last class. World War I wasn't that far away when this begins. You still have generations that survived that horrible conflict and they had children who uh, grew up during that horrible conflict. Now, this is gonna set the stage for the removal of Neville Chamberlain and then the uh, appointment of Winston Churchill. So, British politician Winston Churchill's reaction to appeasement was they had to choose between war and dishonor. They chose dishonor, they will have war. And eventually, Winston Churchill is gonna become the Prime Minister of Great Britain and he is going to play a pivotal role in the London Blitz, which is another topic we're going to get into. But for today, that concludes our lesson. So CompuBox, you know what to do. Play us out.